Okay, so if you're watching this video, you want to get the new Sennheiser Momentum 4s. And allegedly, Sennheiser made about a dozen changes and upgrades to these buds. So we're going to figure out, are they really an upgrade? What's the official release date? And how do they compare to the Momentum 3s, which I actually reviewed about a year ago today. So let's get into it. And when it comes to audiophile headphones in 2024, there's not a lot of new options, but there are a lot of competitive options. So at the end of the video, stay tuned and I'll give you some other recommendations if you're not feeling these buds. So in typical fashion, like most of my reviews, we'll start with the case. Now, when it comes to the case, they didn't change anything. And if you already own the Momentum 3s, which is supposed to emulate a premium kind of feel, but I've never felt that way. If anything, depending on the color that you get, it just gets dirty and worn out faster as opposed to other buds with just plastic cases. Next up is the buds. Now the buds, big surprise, they didn't change anything either. The buds are exactly the same size, shape, and dimension, which is kind of disappointing if you're me because I didn't like the original fit of the version threes. But if you currently have the version threes and you enjoy them, then good for you. What we are getting is an updated color to the buds. It's this copper-based chrome looking color that reminds me of Andrew Tate's Bugatti, which is actually kind of cool. Another thing that they didn't change is that they still have a seven millimeter driver. Now that's kind of small, especially compared to the alternatives I'm going to give you at the end of this video. So essentially what we're getting are a bunch of internal changes to the buds. So some of this is hardware and some of this is software. So I'm going to run you through those changes. So no specific order, starting with the ANC. Apparently they've improved the ANC performance. Now I ran with the version threes and they were actually pretty decent and conversations were almost natural. So this should only be even better. The buds themselves have the same number of mics, which is three per bud, but now they're using AI for voice pickup, which should make the call quality better. Also speaking Speaking about the mics, they improve the mics that they use. They've got new mics with a lower noise floor, which hopefully is going to help with the white noise that happens when you're in a wear mode. We've got improved better battery for up to 30 hours with the case, Bluetooth 5.4, an updated processing chip that's Snapdragon S5 Gen 2 to handle all that new AI goodness. And the last and most interesting feature is AuraCast. Now AuraCast can have its own separate video, but just to give you a brief summary, it gives you the ability to connect to other public broadcast networks. Two examples of that is when you're at the airport and you're waiting for your flight to be boarded, you can hear announcements coming into your headphones. Also, maybe if you're the movie theaters in a foreign country, you speak a different language, you can have the audio from that movie pumped into your headphones for your specific language, English, Spanish, Italian, Russian, whatever language you speak. There's also a low latency gaming mode, which is better for not just mobile games, but first person shooters. I'm not a gamer, so it's not really something I'm too interested in. So yeah, those are some general specs about the Momentum 4s. The expected release date is supposed to be a pre-order of like February 15th and then potentially shipping or available for purchase on February 28th. Now, personally, I didn't stick with the Momentum 3s and it's for a couple reasons. I'm gonna give you the negatives first and then the positives. Now, I live here in New York City and when it comes to having expensive buds in that $300 price point, I wanna have good aware mode. It can't have an overutilization of white noise. It drives me crazy. I can't hear oncoming traffic. I can't hear voices clearly. And that was one of my biggest issues with the Men's with 3. Also, the fit was very comfortable, but not for long periods of time. I felt like it pushed the concha. And even though it was over a year ago, I can't remember the sound quality being that great. Now, that being said, if you currently have the Momentum 3s and you want to get the Momentum 4s, they're not really too much of an upgrade. But if you already love the Momentum 3s, the Momentum 4s are probably made just for you. And the positive thing about Sennheiser and their Momentum lineup is that they do give you lots of feature updates via firmware. Whether that's higher codexes added later, multipoint connectivity, their app, their app is super nice with EQ settings and customization options. So yeah, let's wrap this up. So when it comes to the Momentum 4s, they're they're more like a S upgrade. You know, like the iPhone has like iPhone 16, the iPhone 16S. Are we up to 16? That's kind of what we're getting here with significant ease of use life updates, but nothing that I would make me switch from my alternative pairs, especially for that $300 price point. You can get something like these guys right here, the Techniques AZ80s. Now these buds are probably my daily driver at this point. They're small, they're lightweight, they're comfortable for long use. They've got multi-point connectivity for up to three devices, great EQ, great app support, and they're slept on for 300 bucks. That being said, if you're in the budget market and you want some quality level audiophile headphones, the status between headphones are actually really good if you don't mind the chunky size. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not too many new options coming out in 2024 for wireless headphones. Sony just updated themselves with the XM5s, the Bose Ultras drop, the Apple AirPod Pros USB-Cs have been out for a second. So technically speaking, this is the perfect time for Sennheiser to have like launched a 
home run product. And I don't really think that that's what we got. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. I'll probably get my hands on these headphones for review at some point in time in February. If you guys are interested in me reviewing them, if not, I might focus on some other buds. And that being said, if you're interested in some other headphones like the Technic AZ80 or the Status headphones, check my channel because I have videos reviewing all these products. I'll actually probably link them in the top left or right hand corner. So watch those videos. Let's get the watch times up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I answer like 70% of your comments. All right, I'll see you in the next one.